these are smaller jacks. For Ed Cutler, opening the cottage for the season also means climbing under it. I even put triple beams under where the posts are because they said I, I didn't have enough support over the center posts. These posts were supposed to anchor his summer home to the ground, only it didn't work out that way. You'd be sitting down or you'd be laying in bed and somebody would walk around. It felt like you were on a, um, on a boat in the water. Helical piles are steel posts with a helix on the end of them. They're driven deep into the ground to stabilize and support structures above, like decks, walkways, wharves, and as an alternative foundation for homes. They are being used increasingly to shore up structures anchored in soil affected by climate change. But the job has to be done properly. So that's basically level. That's where it goes down to. So when you close it, the bottom doesn't close. You've got to lift it up. I reframed these last fall. Inside Cutler's so cottage, far, doors hang off kilter. But it uh, could have been worse. Bad. Floodwaters lifted this Bathurst, New Brunswick house off its pilings in 2017. When the water receded, it came back down, just not where it was before. Eventually, it collapsed. A civil suit filed in a New Brunswick court alleges the company didn't install the pilings properly. As the water rises, this will come out. Okay. They will disconnect. And let's say yours stays in, okay. but mine will now fall, and the whole structural integrity of this structure will crash to the ground. Julian Roising owns a helical pile company. This is our main manufacturing floor. Okay. Helical piles must be certified by the Canadian Construction Materials Centre. Once approved, they have to be manufactured and installed according to their specifications. 100 tons of pressure. Roising says his company followed those specs to the letter, but he kept losing out on jobs, and he was curious why. So we set up uh, dummy sites. We had uh, four or so uh, competitors install their piles. We sent them out to third-party laboratories. We tested them. Uh, we weren't actually expecting to come back with so many issues. The report, prepared by a Montreal-based lab, found some companies were using the wrong steel, were painting parts of the posts instead of galvanizing them, and in some cases, the welding wasn't done properly. When you do things incorrectly like that, you're basically putting your customer's public safety in, in jeopardy. That's what's happening. Roising shared his findings with the CCMC. It issued this bulletin reminding industry and building inspectors of the guidelines, including that a registered professional engineer should provide a signed and sealed certificate for every project. And just this week, it confirmed it is taking further steps to investigate Roising's complaint with site visits at other factories. Despite that, CCMC says ensuring helical piles are being properly used falls to provincial and municipal building inspectors. But that poses a problem. For the most part, they don't have an ability to look at the posts sticking out of the ground and uh, determine whether it was installed to the right depth with the right torque. Graham Clark is the president of the Canadian Association of Home and Property Inspectors. He says consumers need to protect themselves and insist an engineer reviews and approves helical pile installation. Otherwise, who's making the decision on what the loads are? Who's making the decision on uh, how deep it has to go? I mean, uh, where does the buck stop? When you push on the side of the building, you can actually see the building moving. Information Ed Cutler wishes he knew four years ago. Katie Nicholson, CBC News, Toronto. So the day after we visited Ed's cottage there, the company that installed his pilings four years ago came back and they did a complete reinstall. It says it maintains high standards. If you're considering getting helical piles, the Canadian Association of Home Inspectors does have some pointers. Insist an engineer certifies the job. Check the materials used. Are the materials promised? Make sure they haven't been recycled from a previous site and make sure the installer is actually certified on the type of post that's being used.